Tonight, the mysterious death of a Chicago man at a Kankakee County Detention Center. The man's family says he was sent to Combs Detention Center two weeks ago and died inexplicably last Friday. A lot of unanswered questions here at CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey sat down exclusively with the family. They're calling for an independent investigation. Megan. Right, Joe and Marie, and that's because of the circumstances. He, they were told that he died from swelling on the brain due to severe dehydration, and they worry that's because of neglect or something worse while in custody. Was he perfect? No, he wasn't perfect, but he was not an agitator. While many inmate deaths are overlooked, Dwayne Tucker's family says his will not be one of them. He left our house in good health and strength. Two weeks later, he did. Federal court records show Dwayne Tucker was charged with robbing a PNC bank on Rush Street of a little more than $1,200 in January, a federal crime that put him in federal custody. The case was ongoing, and the family says he was taken to Jerome Combs Detention Center in Kankakee about two weeks ago. They say he missed a hearing while in custody, and then on Wednesday, they got a call they didn't expect. He had a uh, kidney failure. ER staff couldn't explain it to the family. They told him he was severely dehydrated, causing massive brain swelling. The family said he also had cuts and bruises on his body and was filthy. By Friday morning, Dwayne had no brain activity and was pronounced dead. It's about justice for my brother and other people as well. His brother Dennis made a vow. I said, I'm going to fight for you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight for him. I need answers. The family tells me it's the silence from both the facility and the feds that's got them thinking the worst, wondering how he could have gotten that sick in custody without the family being notified. He was suffering and no one was paying attention. Where are you paying attention? They're planning to call on the U.S. Attorney's Office to lead an independent investigation into what happened that day. And the family wants this to never happen to someone again. Now we reached out to Kankakee County and the U.S. Marshal's Office for comment. We have yet to hear back from both. We've also requested video from inside the detention center that might shed some light on Tucker's final days. We will, of course, keep following up. Live in the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.